Have you ever give God something and tell him that you want him to take care of it, but then when you give it to him, you try to tell him how to take care of it? I'm going to share with you today just a few quick verses and hopefully, uh, well, and some encouragement with a personal story how God taught me a very important lesson. In the book of Isaiah 55, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. This really resonated with me when um, my son, who has been in trouble a lot, he was finally sent away um, to a facility about four hours away from here. And um, he would call home at night and he would just talk about um, how hungry he was. And he would just be, I'm, I'm just so hungry, Mom. I can't get full. I can't get full. Well, as a mother, um, that just, just burdens your heart to know that your child is hungry uh, four hours away in a prison facility um, and, and just making those nightly calls home. And that was the one thing that he kept repeating to me was that how hungry he was. And have you ever been hungry? You've just been hungry and, and it's so the freedom just to go get what we want to eat. It burdened me so much that I started praying to God, and I remember the night, the one night that I was laying there in the bed, and I just said, Lord, if there's any way at all that you could allow the food that he takes, the food that he eats, whatever he's given there to eat, could you just let it nourish his body in such a way that he would be full? And I tell you what, the Lord spoke up immediately to my heart. Do you know what he said? He said, what if hunger is my plan? What if hunger is my plan? Wow. Wow. A few times ago before this, I was praying about um, the Lord be, be, before um, he had even gone down the road that he was going down. I was saying, Lord, could you just take his sleep? Could you just, could you take his sleep from him, Lord? Um, just take his sleep. All he can think about is, is maybe turn his life to you. And once again, what if taking his sleep is the worst thing I could do? So this verse in this Isaiah 55 here, the Lord taught me that his ways are not my ways and his thoughts are not my thoughts. And if I truly, truly want to give something to God, I have to be willing to let God do it his way. He, he created each of us. He knows every intimate part and detail of our mind, body, and soul. He knows these things. He knows exactly the best way to execute his plan when we truly want to surrender and open our hands and give it to God. So here's what happened. That morning after he said to me, um, maybe hunger's my plan. I said, okay, God, if hunger's your plan, hunger it is. And this is what I love about how God sends his word to reify what he says to you, to remind you, to let you know, because sometimes we're hard of hearing. So I went to church that morning. And the pastor, you're not going to believe this, he um, uh, preached in Luke, and he was talking about the prodigal son. And I want to listen, I want to read these few verses to you. It says, and that, of course, you know, the prodigal son had left, and he had spent all of his money, and that he found himself into the field with the swine, eating what the swine did eat. And here's what it says in verse, 12, in verse 17 of Luke 15. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants in my father's house? have bread enough and, and to spare, and I perish with hunger. You see, the, my pastor preached that morning about how sometimes it was hunger. It was the very one thing that hunger that brought him to his senses. And you know, from that moment on, I thought, you know what, son, you're just going to be hungry. I pray that you are hungry because I want you to get, I want you to come back to yourself to know who you are. And I wrote my son a letter, and I, exp I wrote all about the prodigal son and, and reminded him of the story. And I told him at the end of the story, I said, I hope you're hungry often. Well, after he got my letter and we talked on the phone, he said, you know, Mom, every time I am hungry, I remember where I came from and what it used to be like and how really good I did have it. So listen, no matter what you're dealing with right now, no matter what you're going through in your life, if it's a family member, a child, a husband, a spouse, anything at all, no matter what you're doing, I want to encourage you when you really lay it down at the altar, when you lay it down at his feet, and when you say, God, I'm giving this to you. Once again, as I repeat all the time, you have to trust him. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not your thoughts. But all that you have to do is to put your faith and hope in Him. And He will take care of things the way that He knows will be the best end result. He has His best plan for you. Don't get in His way. 
Pray and get out of the way. Don't pray and stay in his way. When you truly lay it at his feet, trust him. Just trust him. Thank you and you have a blessed day.